to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. If you are new to the channel, you are highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Okay, guys, so if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. You can send me a message on WhatsApp, and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available. Okay, guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to cut and sew this neckline. So you can see the picture up there that I showed you earlier on, on the thumbnail. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Okay, so if you want to do this kind of neckline, so I already have my, my basic dress here. It depends on what you how you want to make it. I already have it here. So now we're going to add the neckline to this dress. So the back, this is the back piece. I'm going to go ahead. I'll just hold it like this and then we'll cut our front and our back neckline together. So it depends on how wide you want that collar to be. That's what you are going to do. So the first thing we're going to do now we we'll cut out the width of the neckline. So for the width of the neckline, we're going to make use of 3 inches. So this is 3 inches. Depends on how wide you want it to be. This is 3 inches. And then, I'm just going to mark 1 inch or 1.5 inch. So this 1.5 inch is what I'm going to use for the back. So this is the back neckline. So the back neckline, I'm cutting it as the round neckline. So you can see. So I we'll cut out the back neckline. So this is the for the front neckline. So for the front neckline, depends on where you want your the collar to get to. So I'm just trying to double check it. So that's my three inches. Depends on where you want the collar to get to. So for the collar, you can measure. You can put your tape on your shoulder and then measure how deep you want it to be. Okay. So for this, we're just going to come, we'll come down to about nine, nine inches or 8.5. So it depends. You can come as much as 10, depends on what you want. Okay, so let's do 8.5. So this is 8.5 inches. And then depends on what width you want here. That is what we're going to use to cut the collar. So from this part like this, now you know when you open it now, if you see this is two inches. If you open it, it's going to be four, so it might be too wide. So we're going to do 1.5, which is going to be about three inches. Okay, so just please, please pay attention. So we'll do 1.5 here. You mark it on that 8.5, then 1.5. And then from this point now, we're going to make it like a V shape like this. So just let's use our ruler. So from this point now, you're going to mark it to that point like this. So you see what we have now. 3 inches, 8 inches, and then 1.5. So make sure you double check all of your measurements. So now we're going to go ahead and cut, cut this out right now. So note, when I'm cutting, I'm not cut on the exact neck, um, line. I'll just stick come out a little bit, so it will not be too wide. So once I get to this point, I will cut this off like this. Okay. So you see what I have here. So now we're going to fold. So I'm going to use another fabric for the color so it will be obvious okay so before you do this what you are going to do you are going to go and join the you join it together or if even if you don't want to join it together you can measure around you can measure it around like this what you have that is what we are going to use so let's just go ahead let's measure it around Okay, so I've opened the back piece at the back, the allowance back. So you can do this or you can decide to leave it, not to do it. But it will be easier for you to fix it like this if you have an opening at the back. So the next thing I'm going to do now, take this now to my machine. I'll go and join it on the shoulder line. So I'll join the shoulder 
and then join the shoulder so after joining that will come back and cut out the collar okay guys so before we continue with the collar so i want to increase the length of my neckline that's the front neckline so i just increase it a little bit more by just by 1.5 inches Okay, so I've gone ahead, so I've opened it up. So the next thing now, for us to know the size of collar that we're going to cut, you, you are going to measure from the back neckline. So like I said, you can do this even if this part is joined together. But opening it makes it easier. So you measure from the allowance, the zipper allowance part. You just go ahead and then measure it up to this point. So you say half 14 inches here. So I'm going to stop and remember that this part we folded this one at 1.5 so you are going to put all of that into consideration so we have 14 inches and then you are going to take your piece so I'm using this black fabric so you will be able to see it clearly so I'll fold it into two and then I'm going to cut it out so I'm cutting out two pieces So I'll fold this. So we'll cut one, we'll use it to cut the second one. So remember this center point is 1.5. So from this point, you're going to make this a little bit more than 1.5. That's the down part. Just make it a little bit more than 1.5 so that when you, you join, you still have allowance. But don't make it up to two inches if you make it up to two inches it might be too big okay so i'll just go ahead like that i'll mark here so and then i'll mark the 14 inches that we're using that's going to be the, the full neckline so this is the 14 inches and then i'm going to go ahead i'll just add allowance to it about two inches allowance so i'll mark this point like this and then you're going to determine how wide you want your color to be on the neckline part so for that part for mine the width that i want you know i'm going to join them they're going to be two so i'm going to do 2.5 inches so i think 2.5 inches is okay here i'll mark it like this and then do you remember this is my 1.5 on this down part so i'm just going to go ahead i'll join connect connect it to it like this So I'll connect it to it like this and then I'll go ahead and cut, I'll cut this out. So make sure you add allowance as you're working. So I'm going to place this here on this one and then I'll cut out the second one. Okay, so after cutting, after cutting, you are going to place this on another one and then you are going to cut them equal. So just make sure that you cut them, that both of them are the same, they are equal. So you see, I've gone ahead, I've cut it out. So now the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to stitch it together. So in stitching it together, you are going to determine how, how much closing, you see that line that is at the center how much is going to be so mine is i'm going to use about three and a half inches so this is my three and a half inches so i'm just going to mark it like this so what i'll do now open up those two pieces that i that i that i mark together so this is the 3.5 inches you place them together facing each other like this you just make sure you place them together And then that 3.5, you know, this is the 3.5 inches mark. This is the center. This is my center front. So I'll take it back to my machine and I'll stitch this center front part. So after stitching the center front part, I'll make sure that what I have here is my 3 inches. So I'll just stitch here like this from here to this point like this. So you see them, they are facing each other. I'll go ahead and go and do that. 
Okay, so after stitching, so you see I've finished stitching it. So after stitching, here's what you are going to do. You are going to take them like this. We are going to go ahead and go and iron it. So you see that it is looking like what we have on the picture already. So I'll go and iron it out nicely. So you can see already that it's looking like that color. So you see it is a simple process. So I'll go and you can iron interfacing on it. it depends on what you want. So like I was saying, this stitch, you can make it as long as you want. So it depends on how long it is. If it is too long, the neckline part is going to be too small. So you can determine that how you want it. Okay, guys. So, so you can see I've ironed it now. So you see, we we'll open it now. So you can see already it's looking so really beautiful, well laid out. So next thing we're going to do now is just for us to stitch it. So that is why I was saying that you make sure that this point is the same. So you can see how beautiful it is looking already. So what I'm going to do now, just take it back now and then I'll stitch. So I think let's just pin with our pin so it will be easier. So you stitch it like that and then I'll just go ahead and go and stitch it. And then let's just go back to the machine and stitch so it will be easier. Okay guys, so now we're going to start stitching. So this is the right side of my of my dress. So this I'll take this now and then I'll place it like this. So I'm using a contrasting thread so you'll be able to see everything that I'm doing. So I'll place it, this is the right side of my fabric. I'll place it on this square points like this and then I'm going to go ahead I'll stitch it on that straight line that's the square part of the neckline so that is why you need your measurement to be accurate so I'll go ahead and I'll cut it out so the next thing we're going to do now so you, you can see what we have already the next thing that we're going to stitch this line on this side. So in order for us to do this nicely and straight, we are going to use use this stitch as guide. So we are going to use this as guide. So we are going to start stitching from the top point of that first stitch. So with that, it will relax more. So I'll just take it like that and then I'm going to, to place it like that down. Just make sure. So I'll place it out nicely like that and then I'll go ahead, I'll stitch it to the back neckline. So I'm just going to go ahead so you can see what I'm doing. So that was why I was talking about opening the back neckline so it, it actually makes it easier. So. so once I get to that point, I'm going to stop. I'll cut it out and then I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay guys, so after stitching, I'm going to go ahead, all of these edges, I'm going to notch it tiny. So you make sure when you are notching it, you have to be very, very, very careful so you don't cut, you don't cut your fabric. Just give it tiny notches and then I'll take it so it relaxes and then I'll take it back to my ironing table and iron it straight and then come back and show you so you can see how it is. So there are some, if you want to do a top stitch, you can actually do a top stitch on it. You can top stitch it. So you can still do that. Okay guys, so you can see what I have. So it really looks beautiful. So I almost, when I, while I was notching, I almost cut mine on this part. So you have to be very careful. So I just, so like I said, you can do a top stitch on top of it. So the next thing now, what is remaining is for me to stitch and close on the back neckline part. 
So I'll just go ahead, I'll take it and then I'll join it on the zipper allowance part. So there's another way of doing this. You can do an inseam finishing for it. So and then you will not have this. So I'll just go ahead, I'll stitch it together and then I'll show you the final look of the neck line. Okay guys, so after stitching, in order to have a clean finish, you are going to place it like this and then do a top stitch on it from the back like this to secure it down nicely. So use a very matching color thread. Well mine, I'm using a different color thread just for the sake of this tutorial. So you give it a top stitch like that and then on the inside you see that it is laying flat now on the inside so you can see the front how it is looking like so you can see it is beautiful you can see that we actually achieved okay guys so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button if you have not subscribed to stylish ninja youtube channel Please subscribe to Stylish Ninja YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.